The new 3D chips from AMD are going to require you to update your BIOS, so I figured that I would show everybody how to actually go about doing that. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over to your manufacturer's website of the motherboard that you actually own, and you're going to download the new firmware for your specific motherboard. It's going to be different depending on the brand and model, but Googling your board is most likely going to bring you directly where you actually need to go in order to update the BIOS and download the correct drivers. The only other thing that you're going to need is a USB flash drive. Then once you do that, you're going to put that BIOS that you just barely downloaded after you unzip it and everything with 7-Zip or WinRAR or whatever unzipping program you actually use. You're going to put that on the USB drive, shut your computer down, put it into your computer, and then you're going to launch and enter the BIOS and then go into the UEFI's firmware update tool or your BIOS may say, flashing tool maybe take a couple of seconds to actually browse through it and eventually you'll find it so you can back up your bios as well if you want to do that but a lot of the better motherboards do have a flash button that you can just simply reset everything if you do end up like losing power for an example when you're when you're updating your bios but i'm just gonna say that there's like a 0 0.00001 chance that it actually ends up happening however there is a possibility that it does happen and if you download the incorrect bios for your specific motherboard the odds are the the computer is going to tell you this is not the correct bios you can't install this so after that you just simply wait for everything to update and then you can boot your computer on and start using it